Joining on our agenda tonight is a discussion and take any necessary action regarding the superintendent search process with the WASP consultant. So, the floor is let you introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Louis Birchbauer with the Wisconsin Association of School Boards, but everybody knows me and calls me Lou. So if you have any questions uh, during the presentation, feel free to do that. And uh, I sense that you have a stacked evening tonight, so I'll try and make my comments brief and to the point and allow you to ask questions. First of all, let me ask, has everybody taken an opportunity to review the proposal that was sent out? Perfect. Then I'm going to do a little shortcut here. identify that um, I passed out a summary document of services. It's a quick checklist to keep us focused and help uh, identify what's open as opportunities to you as a school board in your search for your next uh, school district superintendent. First of all, let me identify that the WASB is a fee for services uh, service that's offered by the association. It's uh, your association is designed to have an hourly rate. You can have a contract of cost not to exceed, or you can have a contract where we notify you with a certain uh, range. The plan, uh, we do services of planning your search for the Board of Education. We are very much interested in making this a search that's designed to serve you as the Waterford grade school board. Uh, it's important that you understand your options and you decide which options you'd like to pursue. We understand you've had uh, Mary Young and Roger Fagan were out to do a study in your school district. They've gotten a lot of information. And so the suggestion we would make is that you haven't had an opportunity for a community focus group and we suggest you have at least one community focus group but it wouldn't be necessary to do the Board of Education or staff since a lot of pertinent information has been gathered and is helpful. Our application process is started with a standard application. We would also request three letters of reference, the letter of introduction and a resume. But the key point that we see is that a school superintendent not only needs to express themselves uh, in a verbal interview, but also needs to have some written skills. So we suggest anywhere between two and four essay questions that you could use to assist in your screening of candidates. The WASB will take care of uh, collecting all candidate information. We'd also uh, rank the candidates in a top tier, middle tier, lower tier. Some school districts, uh, boards of education, also want us to rank the, the top eight or 10 candidates, you would get all the information. You would be expected to be actively involved and look it over and you can decide. We would provide a resource guide that would have a candidate ranking rubric. We would have information as to how you would do your informal background checks because the school board association would do the formal background check on your final candidates. We have uh, an initial set of interview questions that we would help design for you specifically based upon information we know about your district and through the focus groups. We also will have a bank of other uh, interview questions. This resource guide will provide guidance to you in setting the tone for an interview. It will talk about posting, what's considered legal questions, what should be done in a contract, uh, we would suggest that you review your administrator's contract to make sure it's compliant with current law or if you have any modifications you'd like to do. Uh, the WASB is a full service organization, so we can offer you governance services, legal services, and um, orientation and transition to your new administrator. 
We would also take care of establishing the first interviews, notifying all the candidates, notifying all the people that were selected. We would take care of selecting uh, with the Board of Education candidates for second interview, if you would like the consultant to be present. We also would uh, notify people in second interviews, sit with the Board of Education through second interviews, and help uh, organize a debriefing session. We would talk with you in the planning stages, and uh, Mary has indicated we'd like to, since she's familiar with the district, she has another meeting this evening, so she asked if I could sit in. And I know that she's far more articulate and better looking than I am, but we'll just tough it out since we only have a half hour here. And uh, she's available to meet with you on February 18th or 19th to do the plan. Um, we identified uh, that we would handle all of the communication so that you'll be able to continue with your work. We are part of the National Affiliation of Superintendent Searchers, which is a national organization composed of 35 states, 64 consultants uh, throughout the nation, and it's designed as a school for services, not a what we consider for profit. We build relations with school boards. We don't just come in serving for this and then not see you again. You will see us at meetings. You'll be able to ask us questions. We'll be here. And the service that we design, if you decide to narrow its focus and you decide all of a sudden as you move a little farther along in the process, you would like to have additional services that can be arranged. You saw an hourly rate uh, information. I think it was on page 14 of the proposal. Uh, we suggested that uh, searches run anywhere between eight and uh, twelve thousand dollars. Yours would be uh, less than twelve thousand dollars without any question because you would not be doing as many focus groups, so you wouldn't have as much uh, consult time. We would talk with you, decide if you want to just do the interviews, first interview uh, with the Board of Education. Second interview is always suggested with the Board of Education. But sometimes people like to involve citizens or staff members on an initial interview. We would help you through that. We talk about the process to give you that information. We'd also notify you and address a way of handling the records since you have a responsibility to keep any records for up to seven years for your Wisconsin statute. Um, and finally, uh, we would take care of any communications with the press, if you would want us to do that, as well as take care of uh, public announcement. I guess the best thing I can do right now is to show you how that would lay out. And I gave you two documents. Uh, Dr. DeYoung identified two calendars for you. One calendar is interviews uh, the week of spring break. Um, getting you a little sooner in getting a final selection. And then the second calendar is with interviews after spring break. So it really uh, talks about first round of interviews. The calendar is exactly the same all the way up before review applications and choose interviews. But uh, one would have first round of interviews April 6, 7, or 8. The other would have it the week of April 5th. Uh, being done on April 15th and 16th, final uh, reference checks by April 21, the other would have reference checks by April 14th, final rounds of interviews April 15 and 16th, this one would have 21 and 22, site visit option between 21 and 24, final negotiation of contract by April 30th, and announce new silk for intended May 4th. The other one would have final selection of negotiations by April 24th. And the difference is going to be uh, seating of uh, school board members. So if you um, are going to take the later contract, we would talk with you as to how you might want to involve school board candidates in the process, or whether you do not want to. We would talk about uh, the pros and cons of that as well. And ultimately, you would want a position to start by July 1, 2015. Um, I want to stop right here and let you ask your specific questions. Since you've done your diligent work in reviewing the proposal, the summary provides all the services 
the calendar lays out how it comes together and uh, I'll take your questions. I just had one. Um, I was curious, we did do a survey um, with WASB, but how did the questions from that survey at that time and the focus of that, how would they differ from questions regarding the superintendent search to staff? Well, the questions that we would ask is we would ask what are the strengths of the school district, what's unique about the school district, what are the challenges in the next five years, uh, what do you see as the selling points of the school district, what strengths, qualities are you looking for in a superintendent, what do you think is the most important part of a superintendent's job, and then finally, do you have anything else to add? So it does differ because we were focused on a particular issue in that study. But um, when I uh, was asked to read over the study, uh, there's a lot of information that was gleaned in there as to uh, some of the issues that the district was facing, some of the things that you might want to look at in correction, that we thought we would be able to pull out some information for putting together uh, essay questions for the application or the written ones, and initial interviews. But we do think, because of everything that's happened in the school district, obviously, with changes and things like that, you want to make sure that um, you give your community an opportunity to weigh in. So that's why you would have one head of the Remember, the Board of Education is trusted with the responsibility of not only hiring and evaluating the superintendent, you would be responsible for making the selections. So even if you were involved citizens and staff, they would be advisory to the board and we would set that up for you. Anybody else have any questions? How does that typically work with the community focus group? How do you choose to see who wants to do it? Or <laughs> well, we would rely on the Board of Education to give you uh, information, you could send it out to key uh, communicators in your school district, you could post it in your school district, you would hold it in the evening and you anticipate about 20 to 25 people in show up. It is a public meeting, so it's definitely able to have people uh, attend and uh, some people may attend that uh, you didn't uh, give an invitation to, but the invitation will be posted as an open invitation. My reason for saying you give an invitation is I don't like school districts to hold activities and nobody shows up. I think it's a responsibility of the board to make sure people get involved. This is a key position in your school district, and so that's why you want to get involved. You would have the consultant facilitate that so the focus is always on the future and some of the issues. It's not designed to Talk about your past to focus right. on the future. Okay. Do you find one method to be better with the focus groups of the surveys that are online, or do you get kind of the same information? Um, we do. Uh, that's a good question. We do a candidate profile that's mapped for the Super Pro Match that then um, all candidates in a database in these 36 states. Uh, Use that. If you did an online survey, we would do that as your electronic survey. It would not be open-ended, it would be closed. You have to understand that any information that's collected is public information. And uh, when you do an electronic survey that's totally open, you can get uh, comments about character, comments about board members. You just you can't uh, deal with that in a focus group. It's made, but the recording person determines whether it's worth part of the record or not. Those are all good questions. Any other questions? In speaking with Mary about our situation, what the work they've done so far, mm -hmm. did she feel pretty confident? Well, you know what, with everything we've done, we're, you know, we're right about better with the information we need to take the next step in finding the right person, or? Uh, well, in my conversations with her, she feels very comfortable with the idea that you only have a need for one focus group. She thinks that if you met on the 18th or 19th, you would be able to do most of your plan. She'd come together with an essay 
bank of questions. Uh, obviously, she'll come with more than four. You'll determine how you would like to flex it. She believes strongly that you need to make sure that you um, got all the issues and public's issues out in the community forum. And I have to agree that in any district where there's been a uh, change in leadership, either by retirement, decision, or uh, mutual philosophical differences, it's important that all of those issues get out, put on the table, and you can move forward rather than all of a sudden have to surface and somebody starts in the district. So that's why you need to do it. She's confident, though, she could complete in one evening the identification of the essay questions, a candidate profile. Um, she'd be able to iron out the calendar so that you're ready to go. Okay. Any other questions? Kristen, we need a motion for the board to um, enter into a opening of the superintendent search. What about what the board thought process on the timeline? I'd prefer the quicker one, except for I'm going to be on vacation over spring break. But <laughs> I came on my birthday, but I don't know if I'm going to pull that one off. I will mention that um, what will happen is if you can give me the areas where you have some conflict, then she'll be able to resolve it with you at the planning meeting. And if I know which one, if I know that there's some concern right around that spring break where you want to keep it as aggressive as possible, then I can tell her to look at her calendar and make sure she has some options for you. Any That's I have one kind of like day there on that spring break one. That's six like that. Okay. For a while. But if we can work something out, I mean, I guess. My sentiment is that it's something we all started. So if we could all we can sit down with our uh, work it out too. Finish it, it would make sense. So if we can work out the schedule and make it work, that would be great. And you know the site visit is optional, so you may want to pass on that. A lot of districts I work with pass on site visits because Wisconsin is not that hard to the state because know most of the candidates that might apply so we able to get the information through uh, information from the consultant, uh, their resume, and people and connections from your informal connection. So you'll pick up some time right there if you don't want to do this like this. Do I have a motion to move the last speaker of the superintendent search? Not so moved. A second. Second by Tom. Do we have any discussion on it? You said it sounds like it would be 8,000 or less then? I said it'd be 8 to 12. I know it'll be less than 9,000. Uh, until she sits down with you and knows exactly what you want, I can't say it'll be less than 8. Okay. But I can do this. I can uh, give you a contract. Uh, you can sign that or you can indicate that you'll uh, iron out the number after you talk with her on the 18th. I mean, you've made a decision to hire WASB. Just tell me how you'd like to do that. Okay. Any other discussion on the motion? I think me personally it makes the most sense since we've already invested in them exactly. to do everything to this point. The fact that they can take that knowledge without having to, you know, relearn it being another company, and that this is how we feel is the best way to move forward with the selection process by having a third party do it. I think it makes all the sense to have them do it. That's why I got that coming. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed. That would be a five vote. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you for coming in. I will make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> motion by Dan, seconded by uh, Tom to adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed?
what day would you like to set up to meet with uh, Mary? 18th or 19th on Flex Pay? For the 18th, would be good. 18th, you want me to know the teller? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, I'll tell her, and uh, Board President Schwartz, she will get a hold of you. Okay, we'll try and work that out. Okay? Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.